Hi, Frida. Can you tell us a little bit about you? Hi, my name is Frida. Uh, I'm originally Swedish. Uh, I live in London. I've been here for over 20 years. It's my home. I love it. Uh, I have five children, a daughter and four sons. I'm a full-time working mother. As you can imagine, having five children plus two stepkids, I am very busy. I also love cooking. I'm always improvising and experimenting in the kitchen. And some exciting news. I think there will be a cookbook coming shortly. And other than that, I do a bit of modeling and yeah, I'm a busy person. Where did it all start? Was it always a straight path for you? I've had a very, very eventful life growing up in Sweden. Started, I started modeling when I was 15 in Paris, then I moved to New York, then I moved back to Sweden, then I ended up in London. So I've had a very, 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 very interesting life and I'm very blessed and thankful for those experiences. Um, a straight path, I don't think life ever has a straight path and I'm really grateful it didn't because I learned so much along the way. Um, it also shaped me to who I am today. I am a much calmer person today. Um, I'm a slightly older mom, I have a two-year-old. I'm in my 40s and I have an eight year old. So of course, being a younger mom compared to being a mom of a young kid in my 40s is completely different. So I, I would say how, is, how it has shaped me, I'm, I'm more harmonious and balanced today, definitely. What changes in the industry have you seen and where do you hope things will evolve into? What changes I've seen in modeling is actually quite positive. I um, grew up modeling, I was 15, 16 years old when I started off in Paris and it was all about being skinny and not as healthy and into fitness as it seems to be today and that I really, really appreciate and also it's more diverse and more shapes and various body types are appreciated much more and um, I think we start seeing beauty in, in in a lot of different people in a different way. With a gorgeous, intelligent daughter that's about to graduate from high school in this crazy world of ours with social media, what do you think is important for her to understand in relation to her body and her health? My biggest wish for my daughter, who is 18, is that in 10, maybe 15 years time, that she looks back at this time of her life, that she was kind to herself. Because at the end of the day, we need to be kind to ourselves to feel good. And um, I think I've, I'm quite proud of my daughter. She has really learned to have a healthy relationship with social media. Sometimes she deletes it for weeks uh, because she needs a break from it. And that is actually due to her educating herself and listening to herself. But I know it is a tough one. But like I said, I hope in 10 to 15 years time that she'll look back and not regret that she put too much stress or she felt anxious about who she was or what she looked like because it's not it's not worth it it's not worth spending or wasting that energy um, we were born in a certain way we need to appreciate who we are and just enjoy it tell us more about your passion for cooking and why it's important to you what inspired you to share this with your community uh, I love cooking, I always love cooking, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, I love experimenting and improvising. I've done it since I was a little girl, and it's become a creative outlet. I start sharing a few recipes, a few pictures of my cooking on social media, and the feedback was positive, and I just kept going. So it's, it's more a creative outlet than anything else for me, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. What do you love most about being a mother? I mean, with five little beautiful children, how has it helped you become the person you are now? What I love about being a mother, one of the things, or I love many things about being a mother, is that every day is a new day. My kids change every minute. So every day I wake up and there's a new challenge or a new discussion to be made or a decision or, you know, it, it's, I've learned so much about myself. I've also learned to be much calmer over the years, I used to get stressed out, a little bit hysterical when I was younger, when I was in my 20s. I see the big picture now. Everything will be okay. As long as you try to stay calm. I always say monkey see, monkey do. 
So when your kid sees me being calm or sees you being calm, they will feel calm. So um, I've learned to handle stressful situations much better. And I hope, I hope my kids will always remember me as being a, being a consistent, calm mother. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Is there any piece of advice you give to your younger self? What piece of advice I would like to give my younger self is, like I mentioned before, when I talked about my daughter, that I wish in 10, 15 years time, she will look back at herself and remember her being kind to her, her who she is today. Um, same for me. Um, I wish that I had hand or that I handled certain situations in a much gentler way. Um, everything would be, okay at the end of the day um i think we put so much pressure on ourselves unnecessary pressure that doesn't lead anywhere it just leads to um us feeling or lacking confidence self-esteem and you know what it's 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 so unhealthy so if i look back at myself when i was younger today giving myself advice it would be relax everything's gonna who is your inspiration? Who is my inspiration? Well, of course, I'm going to mention my own mother. My sisters as well. I have two older sisters and they are incredible. They work so hard. They have lots of children. They live in Sweden and um, they've raised beautiful, beautiful, balanced kids. So whenever I need advice from another female, I usually go to my own family. Who do you hope to speak to in your audience and what do you think they're going to hear from you? My dream would be to encourage and help women to find a balanced lifestyle when it comes to fitness, general well-being, parenting, co-parenting. I've experienced a lot, lot, lot over the years and I would love to be able to give my advice and help others to find a calm and, and balanced um, path themselves. Is there one thing that you do for yourself every single day for self-love, self-care, or overall well-being? For my overall well-being, I do a few different things. I love to exercise and stay fit and strong. It gives me so much energy and yeah, it's become such a consistent thing I do uh, weekly, monthly, yearly. Uh, other than that, I love cooking. That is my therapy. So I'll put some jazz music on in the kitchen, light some candles, and I stand in here and I cook for hours. What's the best skincare or beauty secret you've ever received? My beauty tip is to drink tons of water, sleep. Sleep for me is a luxury having so many children. So I know when I've had a great night's sleep and I've had good food, a good amount of water, I look better the next day. So I think it's very simple, very straightforward. Eat well and sleep as much as you can. Why do you think we should celebrate International Women's Day? Is there a message you want to give to those watching? In Sweden, where I'm from, we have a very strong gender equal society. And I think International Women's Day gives us a great opportunity to educate our children and Obviously, it gives us an opportunity to celebrate and praise women. I do think it should be for more than one day, though. What's your favorite MZ skin product? If I have to pick one of Miriam's amazing products, it would be MZ Skin Hydrate and Nourish. She has produced so many incredible products, but that one is definitely my favorite.